He started at William Morris in the mailroom, like just about every other agent. <clears throat> and he right. quickly got out because he already knew how to book bands right. because he had a jazz band. He was a jazz saxophone player. And he even wrote a song before he started working at William Morris that Louis Armstrong recorded called... <clears throat> which is on the DECA collection. So he went on, he decided <laughs> he didn't want to become a musician because jazz was sort of falling all out of favor and rock and roll was becoming the thing. So he moved on and became an agent, hoping to become a music agent. Well, as fate would have it, he ended up representing writers and directors. And in the right. early 60s, he moved to Los Angeles and he decided to open his own agency around 1966 because he wanted to represent these blacklisted writers that had no longer been able to work or had been working under assumed names. So my father wow. represented several of the Hollywood 10, many of what they call the unfriendly 19, and many blacklisted writers and directors, and put together the famous films Midnight Cowboy, MASH, Planet of the Apes, Happy On, 